Also, check this out, guys. In today's episode, we are about to do something absolutely ridiculous. I have just copied the number one player on the planet right now in Legends League, sitting at almost 6,500 trophies, guys. And you wouldn't believe it, this dude doesn't even use a rage spell. I don't know what is going on, but we're about to find out here in this episode, so stay tuned. Also, check it out, guys. We are back with today's first episode here on the YouTube channel. Hopefully, you are all having an amazing day. My name is, of course, General Tony, and welcome, my friends, to some Legend League attacks live shortly in a few seconds' time. So... You all saw the intro to this episode. I am not BSing you guys. This, what you can see on screen right now, is the current number one player in the world. This is his army. I have just copied it, guys, and your eyes do not deceive you. Apart from the Rage Spell, which I have chosen specifically to put inside of my CC, the actual army he is using right now is one heal, two freeze, a poison, Four hay spells and two skeleton spells, guys. Luckily, I've got maxed out everything, so we are going to be using this right now live in a few seconds time. The rest of the army, 35 balloons, two lava hounds, two baby dragons, six minions, five wall breakers, three archers. And we have got ourselves eight balloons and a rage spell in the CC. And I will probably be using a stone slammer instead of a wall wrecker, guys. So, let me just make sure the Grand Warden is... Set to air? Should we set him to air? Should we set him to ground? Now, before we do this, let's head over to the number one player in the world, guys. I've been following this guy very closely for the last week or two. He's just under 6,500 trophies, and I actually just saw him do his final attack of the day, guys. So he's already done all eight attacks. Now, for anyone that's wondering, Tony, where is his army? People don't know this, guys, but what the top players in the world actually do, so people don't copy them, they put random troops inside of their army camps, guys, and then they just leave it like that for the rest of the day until the new Legend League day starts. So this dude has already used all eight of his attacks, and he's got three hog riders, one, one wizard, and three balloons in his camps, and that's basically done to confuse people from copying his attack strategy, guys. Now, you can see he's already boosted his barracks, he's boosted everything, but he's not even cooking a spell. So this dude is very smart. A lot of the top players actually do this, so do not be confused. If you see random troops inside of the number one player, number two, even the top ten guys, they do it. They do it so no one can copy their base and no one can copy their strategies. But luckily for you, I've been following this guy very closely. And I have copied everything. Now, the only thing I cannot copy, guys, is his attacking troops. Because Supercell doesn't let you see what's inside of clan castles. So, I have just randomly guessed. And I went with balloons. Let me know down below in that comment section. What do you think is inside of his clan castle troops and spells? So, I don't really know how to use this army, guys. I have absolutely no idea. What I am going to be doing is pretty simple. I'm going to be using the King, the Queen, the Wall Breakers, and the Baby Dragons to try and take out an air defense, maybe the Eagle Artillery and the Queen. Then I'm going to use the Stone Slammer to take out another air defense on the other side of the base, guys. And then we're going to send in the Heart of the Army. Now, if we fail, I'm only going to do two live attacks. If we do good, I'm going to do more. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is our first attack at using this live. What are we going to do? Okay, instantly we can see the queen at the top, guys, with, of course, the defending CC. It does look scary, and I don't really know how to use this army, so I don't really know where to start. I'm not too sure. What do we even do against a base like this, guys? So, we do need a two-star, of course. What I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to leave all those all those troops on the other side. Like, I'm literally going to leave everything. And we are going to start by using a baby dragon, I think. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to use a baby dragon here. I'm actually going to drop in a haste spell, guys. Oh, damn, I used two baby dragons. I didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter, guys. I just want those balloons to take out the cannon maybe as well. That, that could be great. Yeah, we got it. Okay, that's cool, guys. Now that that's down... I'm going to use my heroes with the wall breakers 
to clear this side of the base over here, guys. And we're making a massive funnel. But we're not going to use everything in this funnel. I'm not going to be sending everything into the center, guys. Just a lot of the balloons, but not all of them. So, the king should take out the other air defense as well. I'm going to put the king's ability. For some reason, he went for the wizard tower. I don't know why, guys, but he also grabbed the air defense, which is cool. We're going to wait for the queen to die. And we're going to pop the queen's ability, guys. There she goes. She's going to drop the grand warden. Hopefully, she can get the cannon as well. That's what I want. And we are looking good. Okay, so... 1 minute 50 on the clock. Here come the dragons. And we have made a significant funnel, guys. Now I need to think about what we're going to do to get into the center. So, let's see. I'm going to try a huge funnel here. We've only got a significant amount of time on the clock, guys. So, let's make sure we do this correctly. Going to have to drop in the minions. Send in the hounds. And we are now moving in with this army, guys. So we've used two haste spells. Still got a considerable amount of spells left. I'm going to come in with a burst heal. And we are going to use a free spell. I'm going to keep waiting, guys. I'm going to keep waiting. Here we go. We need to take out some buildings because we haven't actually managed to activate the CC. Here we go. Finally, we've activated the uh, the actual Giga Tesla, guys, but we haven't got any balloons around it. That kind of sucks. So we're going to go ahead and pop the Grand Warden's ability. Hopefully, we can take out the town hall. Check it out, guys. That tornado trap activating, sucking my balloons away. That couldn't have got any worse. And this really hasn't been a great start to this episode, guys. Looking like we're walking away with a one star. Damn, that's terrible. We didn't even manage to take out the dragons, guys. So we're going to need to change up the strategy, of course. We're going to need to change the way we use it. I am probably going to use the heroes this time to take out the defending CC, guys. Possibly kill the queen and maybe even try to take out the eagle artillery. So, we've got ourselves up to 70%, guys. That is funny. Okay. Yeah, we're going to end this here. Stay tuned. We'll be back for attack number two. Okay, so here we go, guys. Live attack number two. Now, as I said, if we do not get at least a high two-star in this attack, I will not be trying this again, guys. The dude who uses this strategy, the number one player, is a professional, guys. I'm just a random dude who ain't very good at the game. So, well, I'm like an average player. So, I'm not going to use this if we mess up too badly again. Now, what we need to do, we need to kill the defending CC, guys. So, we're going to use a baby dragon to funnel the right. Another baby dragon to funnel the left. We don't actually have a battle blimp this time, which is cool, guys, because I'm going to be using the War Wrecker with the actual heroes to try and kill the main part of the army. So, his Valkyrie Queen's going to get activated. Here she comes. I'm going to use the War Breakers as well. And we're going to see where we can go from here. So, my Queen should kill his Queen. Here comes the defending CC, guys. I'm going to rage up everything inside of this balloon. Inside of the actual... Uh, inside of our, uh, our little kill squad here. Just taking out as many of these point defenses as possible. Here we go. We've already killed the queen. We've taken out the CC, guys. Now I just need one air defense. If possible, we need to grab a single air defense, guys. The barbarian's tanking a little bit for my queen. She is going to go down soon. Hopefully we can grab the... Barrack, yes we can. There goes the air defense. Here we go. Taking out the war, uh, sorry, the Grand Warden. And we've made a significant funnel on that side of the base. Okay. Now we need to start to think about the core, guys. How are we going to get in there and take it out? We need to get ourselves the Town Hall. I have no idea how this dude three stars this, guys. It is phenomenal. So, what I'm going to do... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Free spell on the air defense and the inferno tower. Here we go. Air defense is down. Also grabbing the cannon. And now we can float in with these balloons, guys. This is going to be funny. Here we go. Double hound coming in. Grand warden. Minions on the back, guys. And we are going to start with our hay spells. Free spell into the center. Heal spell into the center. Another haste spell. We're going to be using the 
Skeleton spells on the attacking, or sorry, on the actual town hall. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability, guys, as we float over the Giga Tesla. Can we take it out before the Grand Warden's ability runs out? No, we can't. We're in trouble. Boom. We just lost a lot of balloons there, guys. We're already up to 66% though. Wow. Okay. This is actually not doing as bad as I thought, guys. I didn't think I was going to do as good as this. Obviously, it's still not great. But we do have quite a few archers for cleanup. Obviously, we don't really have the time, guys. But, um, I mean, we're going to be ending on like 73, 74%. Which I suppose isn't too bad. I just don't understand. Well, I do understand. Obviously, the guy's an insane player. But um, this is a really hard strategy to master. Somehow this dude triple stars probably nearly every base he attacks, guys, using a strategy which uses maybe zero rage spells. He maybe doesn't even use a rage in the CC. Maybe he uses like a double freeze or something like that. But I don't know. It's just a little bit mind boggling. But um, we got 24 trophies. I suppose it isn't too bad. We are going to win this episode here, guys. I've only got a couple of attacks left for today. And I'm going to go back to my normal attack strategy because I can three-star using that. And this, I absolutely have no idea. Maybe I suck. 